Alright guys, welcome back to another part of the building series. So we're going to work on the tower a little bit more. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go out a little bit more and then go up. And uh, let's see what we have for the chunks. Uh, we have about uh, one 16 by 16 height done. So I want to go uh, about 32 and then added another 32 to the top of it so it'll be kind of around let's see here we have that one there so it the top should come to about here at that blue line so yeah that'll be a good height for the tower i think so, and then we can just stack the um the tower on top of each other and then we'll just uh use this spawning technique that we used so uh we're gonna build like we did last time i'm just gonna remove that for now and we're gonna just keep going up until we get to uh, another section so i'll probably be doing about 16 by 16 chunks per uh video and then we can get a lot more done so uh let's just um go in here we'll grab some of the blocks that we need so we have some of these ones that we created and now I wanted to kind of change up theme just a little bit not a lot but um, just enough to kind of give it some different um, accent so what I was thinking was keeping uh, like a frame kind of thing going so I'm um, not sure how far we had how What's the height of this particular room? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we want to go about six blocks up, I think. Uh, we can go and change this mode on. So I'm just going to see whereabouts. Probably about... Yeah, I would say about seven. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and maybe one more. We'll go eight. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, set up the framework on this side now. So once we get this part done, actually, is that going to be, yeah, that's eight. All right. And then what we can do is we can fill it in with some other blocks and stuff like that. And we'll do the same for this area, but I want just kind of like a framework basically made so we have something to work with. So I'm going to bring that over here and I'm going to do that for the other ones and then I'll cut back in when I got this. Alright, so I got the supports all set up. Whoop, wrong one. Uh, G. So the outline for the um, supports and stuff are these pillars here. I decided to do on the corners as well and then we have the frames over on here and that should give us enough room to actually start working with some stuff. I am going to use... Uh, something a little bit different. So I want dark oak. I think we might be going for a dark oak uh, pillager tower. I'm not sure if we're going to put the pillagers and stuff in. We might be able to do that later on. Uh, might as well. But I'm um, going to actually just fill in the uh, wood here with um, dark oak and then we can take it from there. Um, we'll have to add some extra decorative blocks I think for the dark oak to support it but it shouldn't be too hard to actually implement. So I'm just gonna follow the pattern that we had uh, laid out for the floor below. And uh, yeah, that should be fine. And then what we can do is, once we get uh, the pieces and stuff set up, I'm going to actually just quickly go and duplicate the files that we had. So let's, uh, get out of imp crater first and then we'll create those other blocks that we need so we have these ones here um, I just need to add a texture for the dark oak uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just go to desktop and then I do have the 1.17 stuff um, where is it uh, minecraft resources 1.17 and textures blocks and i'm just going to search up dark oak and it should be uh, not the log where's the planks dark 
oak and then we'll just search up that plank should come up right there okay and then we're going to copy that over and i'm going to give it a unique name so i believe I've just uh, basically gone with uh, H before the name for horizontal and underscore. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to import that as a block and then we need the models. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the folder that we have here with these. I'm going to just um, copy the stone brick ones because we can use those and then we're going to paste that in. And then I'm going to copy or change the name. So this is the stairs. So I want this to be dark oak planks. And then that was the stairs. So I want the slabs next. So I'll do the same for the slabs. And then we can import those and set up the textures. Oop. Okay, I'm going to do that. Has some stuff that we need. All right, so we'll delete that. And then we will go and say dark underscore oak planks and then we should be all set up for that and now we just need to basically import these into our workspace so what we can do is i'll just go to my desktop where the files or the folder is and then i'll just import this for the slabs select our dark oak texture and i'll do the same for the stairs that. All right, so we should have those two pieces in. Now we just need to add blocks. So I'm just going to copy the stairs for the spruce, and I'm going to go H, dark, oak, uh, planks, stairs, and then I'm going to copy that uh, with Control C. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to update some of the properties for it. So set that to dark oak that to Tarko, make sure the model's updated. So this is stairs, so we'll set that to stairs. Uh, boundary box, that should be all set up. Um, dark oak and all the other properties I think I just left as is. We can save that. And then we want uh, the slabs as well. So I'm gonna just place that in, set slabs. And then do the same for the things that we changed. So dark oak, dark oak, and the spruce should be dark oak slabs. And then we have the name to update as well. So dark oak plank slabs, and we should be good. All right, so I'm just going to make sure that this is all set up in the inventory properly and before I import it back in, save the layout. And then we can hop back in game and then I'll start working on building the um, part in uh, for the wall. Right. So now that we're in back in game, what we can do is we can just finish up the decorative parts here. And then we'll be able to continue on the time or not so much the time lapse, but we'll do the um, other sides for sure. So I have all this to fill out and then the inside as well. Then we'll go ahead and do this and that. So we should have something that looks like that now, which looks pretty good. Uh, we'll do some decorative stuff in there. We still have the inside to do. So what I'm going to do is actually, can we? No, we can't because of the floor there. Hmm. I wonder if we can kind of raise this a little bit just so we're not utilizing all of it. So we can put something like that there. And then we'll go like this. And not sure if this will work out. We'll have to actually, we're gonna put the floor in at that level, right? So we're going to need to not have those pieces there fill this up to here, fill that up to there, okay, so that's what we should have when we're finished, 
I'm going to actually use some of the slabs here to kind of build this up just a little bit. And then it should look something like that. I think that will work out pretty good. So I'm going to do that for the other sides. Um, as far as the window is considered, uh, we can do some decorative stuff uh, with what we have here set up. So something like this, and then we could do um, some up downward stairs and stuff like that. So let's see if I can get some regular stairs in here. And then we'll put some like that, some like that, and just some regular pieces like that. And that could work for a window, I think. Um, trying to keep the windows a little bit different so it's a little bit more dynamic and stuff. So uh, as far as glass, we could probably put some custom windows or something in, but I'm just going to leave it like that. That looks actually really good. So I'm going to do the other ones and then we'll I'll cut back in when I have all that uh, finished. All right, so we are on our next piece. I've uh, started working on the perimeter of the next floor, so we can start working on that. And uh, I got the windows all set up. So these are a little bit bigger and you can actually walk up to them and look out and you can actually even go out here a little bit, hopefully not fall. And um, I added these types of pillars here. I was just playing around with the blocks that we created and I ended up coming up with a uh, way to you know, rotate it a little bit so it makes it like a, a pillar and it works perfect for even blocks like this so I thought I would do that and kind of has a little bit of a tiled feel to it which is pretty cool um, yeah so I'll do the other ones in another in another day because we have these these uh, particular ones here and it goes all the way down to the first floor so I wanted to kind of update those but that can wait until another day uh, to work on um, probably towards the end of the series but uh, definitely like these ones better all right so the next thing that we have to do is basically just uh, go along and do all this to the edges so it's out one extra block and then we can continue onwards uh, building the next floor so I'll cut back in when I get the perimeter all set up and the flooring in. All right, so I started working on that and I got the floor up. This is actually really intimidating for the height that it already is. Way more intimidating the, uh, than the other tower. I mean, if we were just like looking up here, it's like boom, right there in our face. But uh, yeah, so the floor is all complete. Uh, we just need to set up lights on the interior of the building. I'm not sure how we're going to do that, honestly. Because um, there isn't any really place to put torches, sort of. Didn't really take that into factor when I was building the floor, but I'm sure we'll f find some useful spaces, I guess. We can put some there at least. Um, yeah, so that will allow us to basically place them. And then I think we'll be able to fit uh, some in on these levels. Just so that I'm not sure if we'll have one there. But uh, yeah, so something like that, that should help uh, with the lighting a little bit. Alright, so now that we got that done, uh, we got this floor complete. Uh, it looks really good, so I'm pretty impressed with it. And then we'll go up to the next floor. I'm going to actually just fix that just a little bit. So it's a little bit easier to climb up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the frame thing again. And then we'll do, um, kind of build it out. Now we're going to need to go into our G screen and kind of see where our level is that we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up to the level that we need it. So right here. And then I'm going to do the same for this side. And then we have all that space in for a couple windows. I'm thinking of maybe two windows. So if I can fit in two, that would be really good. So something like that, I think, will work really well. And uh, then I'll start working on the walls and getting that all set up. And then I'll cut back in. 
Alright, so I got the rest of the the build done. Well, not the build, but the um, floor done. So we have uh, about, I would say, four more sections to do if we go according to the other thing. So it should be a little bit taller than this. This is one section. It's actually um, 16 by 16 if we go into the chunk view. Or pardon me, um, 32 by 32. So this is two chunks up to there there so that's uh 32 so we're exactly at 32 in height so we are going to basically double that in the next couple videos so after we get the tower done i think i'll work on some of the mechanic things for maybe some of the pillagers and stuff like that we'll get some spawner blocks and stuff like that in but uh, inside, it looks pretty good, too. I uh, got the staircase going down and up. So this is what the new floor looks like. We can put some planters or something on or something there. So we can just decorate it a little bit more. Maybe we can do some... Um, well, if it's the pillagers, we might be able to do some dark oak saplings. That would be pretty cool. And this is the other floor that we worked on. So it's just kind of like a sitting area or viewing area or something like that. And the other two floors are down below. So this is the one that we made last episode. Not too great, but there isn't a lot of room either. And then we got the very first floor that we worked on. So, And we'll put a door in there when we get that all settled. But uh, outside of that, uh, that's all the time that I have for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.